Scandal at the state capitol tonight as Governor Robert Bentley confronts accusations from a former friend and colleague that he's having an affair. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. That friend is former Alia Secretary Spencer Collier. Bentley fired him yesterday. Both spoke publicly today. And tonight, coverage from Montgomery with Mike McClanahan, who has reaction from state lawmakers about the allegations. But first, Jamie Ostroff walks us through two sides of this saga that's been going on for almost two years. Jamie? Well, this all started, according to Spencer Collier, back in August of 2014. That's when Collier says Governor Robert Bentley dropped his cell phone in a vehicle and one of his security officers picked it up. Now, that officer was Stan Stabler, the man who just replaced Collier at Alia. Collier said Stabler brought the cell phone to him and on it a message, a text message from Bentley's advisor, Rebecca Mason. Everything that I'm about to tell you, I am willing to say under oath. Uh, I am willing to say in front of a grand jury with my hand on the Bible. Former top cop Spencer Collier said since Governor Robert Bentley admitted to a romance with his advisor, Rebecca Mason, she's wielded a lot of power over Alabama. But Rebecca Mason was not elected by anyone. And the level of influence that she is yielding makes her the de facto governor. Collier said he first heard proof of the illicit relationship back in 2014 through recordings he said were obtained by a member of Bentley's family. There was no way to, to, to explain it as anything other than sexual or romantic in nature. Mm -hmm. uh, body parts were, were mentioned uh, and at one point a statement was given if we're going to do what we did yesterday we need to lock the door. I have not heard the tape so I don't know who is on the tape but I'm just saying that I'm sure that I have at that time, we, I said some inappropriate things, and I know that I did that. And so I'm just apologizing for that to her, and I'm apologizing to my family and to the state of Alabama. Still, Bentley said he never had a physical affair with Mason. He also said he never used state resources to facilitate a personal relationship. From this point on, we need to move forward, and we've tried to do that. After a press conference Wednesday, Bentley's staff passed out a written statement from Rebecca Mason. The statement made no mention of a romantic relationship, calling Collier's accusations, quote, clear, demonstrated gender bias. Now, while Collier spoke about this for the first time on camera today, he said he started going public with his story yesterday, just before he found out he was fired. Meanwhile, Governor Robert Bentley says he has no plans to step down. We are live in Montgomery tonight. Jamie Ostroff, CBS 42 News.